Religio Medici by Thomas Brown Summary and Analysis Hello and welcome to the discourse Thomas Brown was an English polymath and author who was influenced by and followed the Baconian method of scientific inquiry and wrote several treatises in diverse fields including scientific development medicine religion and mysticism His writings were influenced by Baconian scientific inquiry methods along with classical and biblical references and he continued to suggest a balance between science and religion he was a medicinal doctor and his writings are an amalgamation of science and spiritualism development and mysticism thomas brown took birth on 19th october 1605 and died on 19th october 1682 his first literary work was religio medici which was published in the year 1643 it proved to be his most talked about work it is a spiritual testament like those of medieval literature it is a kind of psychological self portrait structured upon christian virtues of faith hope and charity through religio medici thomas brown tried to establish a balance between science rationalism and religion mysticism in this work brown expresses his beliefs in the doctrine of sola fide the existence of hell the last judgment the resurrection and other tenets of christianity the major theme of the work is the relationship of science and religion while brown uses scientific imagery to support religious beliefs religio medici is often considered as a medieval text even though it was not written during the medieval period because the writing style of thomas brown and the religious topics that he chose to write about resembles those of the medieval literature which talks about the last judgment resurrection hell and other biblical concepts while amalgamating them with scientific concepts religio medici is a kind of psychological self portrait or autobiography in which he discusses the episodes of his life when he was able to feel find and look at the mysteries of nature god and man he begins religio medici with a line that says this work is a private exercise directed to myself so the quotation a private exercise directed to myself comes from religio medici by thomas brown as it is the beginning statement of this work this work is considered important because while the major theme of religio medici is church or christianity thomas brown being a physician tries to amalgamate religion with science and reason in a harmonious manner it is a general opinion opinion that science and faith cannot work together if you have a scientific view point or rational approach then you cannot believe in god because the existence of god cannot be proved on the other hand if you rely upon faith then you do not need any rational inquiry about the existence of god nor any kind of scientific knowledge is necessary for example john milton wrote paradise lost in which the, he suggested that there is a golden chain connecting earth with heaven on the other hand religio medici is different in the sense that although it is also based on biblical religious concepts brown maintains a decorum of scientific inquiry and rational approach in his work thus he establishes christian beliefs as scientific truths in this work the meaning of religio medici is the religion of a doctor and thomas brown maintains that for a doctor his religion is serving humanity sans any discrimination brown says that god has made us human beings and not beasts so we owe the debt of rational inquiry to god after completing his medical studies brown decided to have a set of values and belief systems while acting as a physician for which he wrote this comprehensive spiritual tract one of the key themes of his philosophy concerns the importance of separating one's attitudes on science and religion for a physician one of the clearest implications of this belief is that a doctor must not only tolerate but also respect individual patients religious or philosophical beliefs even if they conflict with one's own in 17th century europe such religious tolerance was practically unheard of in the professional and peasant classes alike 
A citizen was not only expected but also required by law to practice the religion of the state, be it Catholic, Protestant or Orthodox. In no state was Judaism the official religion. Therefore, Jews were ostracized and frequently persecuted for their beliefs. Such beliefs, however, according to Brown, should not preclude the physician from treating the patients. Brown shows his views of tolerance in religio medici while saying that individual churches and sects should not usurp the gates of heaven and turn the key against each other, and thus we go to heaven against each other's wills, conceits, and with as much uncharity as arrogance do err. For this reason, Brown strongly opposes the religious mandates put forth by most European states at this time which led to bitter and bloody conflicts like the, like the Thirty Years' War which raised during the period in which Brown wrote Religio Medici. On one hand, Thomas Brown shows deep tolerance towards patients of other religions and faiths. He is adamant about his own religion and shows complete faith in Protestant values of the notion of sola fide or faith alone. Sola fide means deep and abiding faith in God, Jesus, and the resurrection is sufficient justification for a sinner to be pardoned and her soul saved. This differs from Catholicism, which tends to emphasize works or good deeds as part of the grace required to gain admission into heaven. In discussing his beliefs, Brown also attests to the existence of hell and the promise of the last judgment the eschatological word will view that says the second coming of Jesus Christ will hearken God's final and eternal judgment of every human being on the planet. Thomas Brown further asserts his belief that science can illuminate religious truths. He supports strict adherence to the scientific rigors of empiricism and observation pioneered, pioneered by rationalists like Sir Francis Bacon and suggests all physicians should follow the Baconian method or the scientific method. Doing so necessitates a clear separation between the spheres of religion and science, at least when conducting medical procedures or formulating diagnosis. Thomas Brown suggests that the profession of medicine is different from other professions. To him, medicine is more than a trade or profession. It is a moral pursuit built on a foundation of service to others. This moral component also renders one's medical career into a journey of personal fulfillment. In Religio Medici, Brown says, For by compassion we make others misery of our own, and so by relieving them we relieve ourselves also. When a disease is beyond Brown's capacity to cure, he professes great shame and is reluctant to charge the patient a fee calling this scarce honest gain. This conceiving of the physician as a person of great moral character for whom honesty and compassion are paramount was unprecedented at the time. The content of religio medici may make one feel as if Thomas Brown was a secular. However, he opposes any such accusation in the very first paragraph of religio medici and states that regarding his own religion, some people might think he has no religion whatsoever. However, Brown then writes that he is of the honorable style of a Christian. Brown writes intending to prove to his readers that he is a Christian and also to stop people from labeling him as an atheist. He states, Having in my riper years and confirmed judgment seen and examined all, I find myself obliged by the principles of grace and the law of mine own reason to embrace no other name but this Christianity. He was a firm believer in witchcraft, demonology and so many other magic and superstitions. In religio medici, he tries to scientifically justify all those superstitions. Religio Medici is a story of conversion and provincial experiences which emphasizes Brown's love for mystery and wonder. Brown's writings are often described as melancholia. However, in Religio Medici, Brown clearly mentions that death doesn't hold any terror for him. He is not afraid of death. He believes that the world is not a place where we come to live, but it is a hospital where we come to get cured and ultimately die. 
while religio medici is a psychological self portrait it is not an autobiography as it doesn't talk of life incidences of thomas brown rather it shows his psychological and philosophical self another important work by thomas brown was titled pseudodoxia epidemica or Vul vulgar errors this work includes evidences of brown's adherence to baconian method of empirical observation of nature and was in the vanguard of work in progress scientific journalism during the 17th century scientific revolution like in religio medici he again talks about the various superstitions and popular beliefs in vulgar error while scientifically examining them and offering corrections to those superstitions another important work by thomas brown was hydrotapipa urn burial or a discourse of the sepulchral urns lately found in norfolk in which he talks about the anglo-saxon pots that were that were found in norfolk in which he talks about the anglo-saxon pots that were found in norfolk and then offers a survey of most of the burial and funerary funerary customs ancient and current of which his era was aware so this is it about today we will continue to discuss the history of english literature please stay connected with the discourse thanks and regards